Hi there, everyone. This is Samsara Morgan, um, Executive Director of Oakland Better Birth Foundation. I am a birth doula in the Oakland Bay Area, and uh, today is May 15th. So I wanted to say some things to you about the significance of this day. Um, May 15th is uh, Red Dress Day, hence my red dress. And that dress is in a com uh, commemoration of uh, our indigenous sisters who are uh, missing, who have been murdered, and whose uh, situation is not being picked up adequately by the police uh, so that we can't find where these beautiful missing sisters are, these beautiful missing people are. Um, uh, and if they have been killed, who their murderers are. This is a heartrending situation, and it's been gone on long enough. So today's a day of remembrance of the fact that this scandalous situation still exists, and to remind the folks with the power um, that their folks are watching them, and we would need to make sure that uh, missing women <clears throat> are either restored safely to their communities, indigenous women, and, and uh, or if they are have been run afoul play, that their families know the circumstances of their deaths and be able to give them appropriate uh, culturally comp competent uh, burial, burial. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, that's very sad and I really hope that that changes soon so that we can have uh, a May 15th where um, everyone matters. Everyone is, uh, if someone is missing, then um, all energy is put to bear into finding, uh, locating the lost person, um, restoring her to her family and letting the family know the final chapter of their loved one's life, if that is what has occurred. May 15th is also International Day of the Midwife. And um, that's a day set aside to uh, remember midwifery, honor midwifery. Uh, our world is in very much need of midwifery support and care. I talk about it often. Um, and again, as we have missing indigenous sisters, um, we have uh, women birthing people and their babies uh, dying unnecessarily. And that's in, it's happening more here in the United States than any other industrialized country. And the fact that that is a truth should be something that should shame us all. If a country can't see to the healthy and happy birth of their next generation, we kind of have a concern for that country. And I definitely have a great deal of concern about the, the emotional and spiritual uh, welfare of a country that, that doesn't take swift action in correcting the fact that the mortality rate is as it is in this country and has gone up <clears throat> over the past few years, has gone up even more, which is not good. All around the world, for the most part, uh, pregnant people, I think women, are, work with midwives and the statistics on midwifery care, on traditional midwifery care, is very, very good. <clears throat> the countries that lose the least babies and mamas of birthing people have almost only midwives taking care of their pregnant population. And um, it speaks well for that practice. And it speaks well for the tradition of midwifery and honoring birthing folks. And... Um, giving them the tools they need to grow beautiful, healthy babies and giving them the support that they need to uh, birth those babies uh, powerfully and safely and in love and light. So 
um, all those problems there are there. They do exist and they have to be spoken of. And I also do want to give my undying respect to Indigenous midwives, uh, midwives who are uh, practicing according to their culture, uh, practicing according to biology, practicing with respect to women and birthing people's bodies and the fact that they can do this beautiful uh, process of growing and birthing babies. Um, know that you have my undying respect as a doula and as a midwifery student. Um, and I hope that your community surrounded you with love and light today and gave you thanks for the work that you do. Um, have a beautiful uh, International Day of the Midwife and um, keep doing what you're doing. I know it's hard. Sometimes a, a midwives are practicing in isolation. They uh, there's, there's many struggles to holding on to the traditional ways, um, but know that what you do is deeply appreciated. I know your clients appreciate you and I know um, that your babies, your client babies appreciate you too. I want to say to nurse midwives, medically trained midwives, um, I know it's challenging where you are. I thank you for being in the hospitals and helping birthing people bring their babies here to be with us. I want to give you uh, my prayers and my, also my respect and my um if I can send to you whatever courage you need to push back against house, hospital procedures that you know are not serving uh, your clients, uh, stand with your clients, stand with their bodies, um, and, um, and you will be blessed for it. It's important to be on the right side of a situation <clears throat> and being on the side of your, of your patients and their babies is the right side. So thank you all sibling midwives um, from me and the Oakland Better Birth Foundation, the Schiffer Circle Community Doula Program, and Nia Healing Center for Birth and Family Life. We bless you. We thank you. We see you and we honor you. I hope you had a wonderful day today.